Hey everybody, this is Dave from AskUncleDave.com. Today I'm going to show you a problem that people are having with uh, Steam on the Mac. So people open up Steam and they get this update uh, dialog that pops up. Now I did some research and I found that if you download these three files here, one's a server file and the other ones are client files, I'm going to show you exactly where to put them and then your Steam will work. So what happens is it runs through this, uh, it tries to update, and then it tells you, oh, you have to be connected to the web. So you get this problem no matter what you do. You, you try everything and you're having this problem. Okay, so I'm going to show you now. Um, so I installed Plex, but now I'm going to uninstall Plex because when you have Plex running, uh, it adds a lot of files as you go along. So I have this app called App Cleaner. It's the best app to remove an app totally uh, because you get to check off all the check marks and everything to do with, like, say, the Steam app. So I removed the app completely. Now I'm going to go onto the official Steam website. And um, this Steam website allows you to download the Mac application. So I'm going to install Steam for Mac. That's the official download for the Mac. So now that I have it, uh, it's in my downloads folder. And these three files, this is to a Google Drive, and it's going to have these three files in here. So you click and you hit download, and you download each one of them. I already have them downloaded, so I have them here. I'll show you. I have those three files plus the Steam app. So I'm going to take these. I'm going to take them out of the downloads folder and drag them right onto the desktop so you can see them. Now, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to... Now we have everything there. I'm going to put all this in the description. Okay, you got a update server, you got the two Steam client apps, and then you got, of course, the DMG. You install it like you do any Mac app. Uh, throw it right into the applications folder. Then you open the applications folder. You open up Steam, and it's going to do the same nonsense. Uh, first time you open it, you have to OK it. So um, let me close this out. Let me close the uh, um, the mount out, the installer or whatever you call it. So now we have these three files that are downloaded, plus we're trying to open now the Steam app. And we're going to have the same problem. So while we're waiting, let's go into your finder. And you have to go into your folder. Like yours might have your name or whatever you named your computer. And if you don't see the library folder in here, you just go into there. And you go down to uh, show library folder and there goes your library folder so now you have your library folder it's usually a hidden folder you go into application support and I wrote down here the instructions where to go um, so now we're gonna go into application support then we go into the steam then we go into steam app bundles go into the steam app go into contents and then go into Mac OS and now you're here in this part. Now you take, let's move that out of the way. You take the uh, client, uh, the uh, update server, and you throw that into this part. Now that's Mac OS folder, okay? Deep inside. See, same error as before, okay? So you go into Mac OS folder. Now you're gonna click on, uh, down here I showed that you, I, we added one more folder, packages. So now we click on packages. And now you're in packages and you take the two remaining files, the two client files, and you throw them in and then you have it all set. Now, guess what? You're all done. Now you just have to open up, you have to sign in and you're gonna see now, watch this. So now, remember we just opened it and we got that error. So now we click on Steam and it opens up, but this time it's gonna open up and start updating uh, because we updated the server. So it runs through, it runs a little slow in the beginning until you run it a couple times, sign in and all that stuff. So now you see it's updating. So now it's updating. Um, you know, it's gonna do a couple of steps in, in order to get there. You're gonna have to sign in the usual way. They send you a pin in the email and then you, you know, you throw it in there and do all that. So I'm gonna uh, just get, when we get to that part, I'm just gonna skip so I have a little privacy. Um, so look, it's opening. Uh, it's doing more than it was doing before all right so once it uh, loads up it's gonna configure it's gonna open up the app again it closes it out because it updated it, the newest app and then it will open up again and do some quick update again like 
this. All right, extracting the package, then it's going to close and then reopen again. And it's installing the update. Boom. Now it's in. It'll open up again on its own. And it's going to go right to the sign in screen. So now we're here on the sign in screen. Okay, so log in to an existing account. I'm going to put my credentials and uh, I'll type that in now. Okay, and then we're going to type my password in. remember my password and hit login so what's going to happen it's going to log in the reason why I'm showing you the long step so now you have to send yourself an email with the code so I go to my email uh, my email will pop up steam right there I'll copy the code zip boom copy close this out throw it right in there uh, click on it throw it right in there paste boom done and hit finish now the reason why I'm showing you this far because I want to show you that it totally opens up but what's gonna happen now it's gonna take a long time for this to sign in uh, it's adding files and all that stuff it's downloading all your information before it opens up the steam app but what you can do is uh, if you don't want to wait you could just go in and close the app you know, I'm, I'm gonna show you all the menu is there and everything like that right but I, I'm impatient, so I'm just going to go in and close the app. I'm going to quit it. All right, and after it quits, let's wait for it to quit. I'm going to go into Applications, and I'm going to open it up again. And now you're going to see that it'll open up, you know, quicker. So now there it is. It opened up. It's checking for updates. It's, uh, you know, adding the account adding all the files that it needs necessary and then after that every time you open it it's going to open like normal so uh, I'll just let this open like normal and you'll see that it opens up um, and you know you have to be a little bit patient but it's going to happen and, um, and that's pretty much it so you were worried you thought that maybe you're not going to be able to play Steam on your Mac anymore maybe you thought it was an M1 issue this is the latest Mac uh, with the M1. Oh, there it is. So it opened up. I'm signed in. And chat opens up. And here we go. I've got all my games there. And uh, I'm getting the Steam Deck. And I can't wait for it to show up. I don't have to deal with Mac or Windows. And I can just play it on my Steam Deck, all my games. Um, it's going to be a great hacking tool as well because you can install whatever OS you want on it. It's pretty much a computer. So I look forward to it. Are you getting a Steam Deck? Let me know in the comments. You tell me what you think about my little process here. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.